Hello friends and people I don't like. Can you hear me? I still don't know if I'm doing this well at all. I don't know if it's working. I can't see you. Cannot tell. You, you can't see me. Should be. Oh, oh I'm out now. Yeah. There we go. There's a right big delay on it, isn't there? <laughs> Please move that. Sam's sat behind me watching me stream as I stream, which is good. How long is it going to be until I'd like totally chicken out on this? Because I don't like being live, but I thought I would interact with people a bit. Hello, Zachary. It's Joe, not John, but uh, hi. Great, we're here. So, um, this is the worst unboxing ever, as I think it's called. Um, it's him, the legend. Right, I need to stop looking at the chat because I just get distracted. Um, for some context, uh, I think I've talked at great length about how my laptop doesn't really work very well anymore. And, uh, for example, it took me 40 minutes to open Source Filmmaker the other day which is an absolute disgrace it was just you know that's that's the extent to which it's not working and then once it does open you click the wrong thing in the model browser and it just crashes and you've got another 20 to 40 minutes of trying to get it to open again so yeah my laptop was in a bad way nm purdue who's joe i'm joe somebody said john though Zachary said John. It's not John, it's Joe. Anyway, this is really focused, isn't it? Let's drink this gin and tonic. Mm. So what I finally uh, decided to do was not put up with having a laptop that didn't properly work anymore. So I'm just going to have a look at unboxing this monster. Now, um... There is a perfectly good chance that, you know, I've, I've not opened this in advance to check. I might have been sent, this might be a scam. This could be like a bunch of bricks in a box, for all I know. And that'd be really funny, won't it? To you lot, probably not to me. I'll kick right off. I'm not very good at the whole ASMR unboxing shtick. this that's some, that's some kind of receipt that's, uh, no actually you shouldn't be showing you receipts probably got all kinds of details on that you shouldn't know <laughs> so it's another Lenovo laptop Lenovo Legion um, I was looking at an Asus ROG Strix something, something, something. I don't know what any of this means. But um, one of my work colleagues, I mentioned it to him and I said, oh, what, what, what does this look like to you? And he said, oh, well, I would maybe get something with a slightly less powerful screen, you know, like 144, not 240, and a better graphics card. So that's what I did. Went onto Lenovo's website. After that, friend showed me a, a link. And here it is. Now, uh, how specked out is it? You know what? I could probably recite that, but um, I can't even remember. Screen's 240 hertz. I think it's an RTX 2070 graphics card or something. I don't know. It's like dead good. Oh, wonderful! The dead channel is alive again. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> oh, I need to cut this up with. Oh yeah. Yeah, the channel is more or less dead because, you know, I spend most of my time just 
working my ass off on an actual job. And don't have the time or the resources to, yeah. At least you got a great GPU than an integrated yet. Hey, if someone wants to tell me what that means, then that would be cool, because I don't know. Whoa, look at this. Oh. Ooh, hang on, which is the better angle? No, can't even see it there. Can't even really see it there. It's terrible unboxing this, isn't it? This is very cool. Right. If you look in this box first, this will be like the less fun stuff, probably. Oh, I need to actually keep it in frame, don't I? Next hour is just going to be me trying to do this. Why not RTX 3070? Well, because I can't afford that. There you go. Oh, there he is. Validator. Validator. Guy who works far harder on Half Life animations than I do. Go check out his channel. Not mine. Yeah, G G German on not one but two perspectives and good video quality. Yeah, I mean, I can stream in like 720p maybe, but graphics, animation, all of that, impossible. Doesn't happen. Fight, bro! Stop putting yourself down. I'm not putting myself down. I'm just, I'm just saying. You're the guy who spends hours and hours and hours and hours a day, like live streaming yourself, actually doing Half-Life animations. I just like sit and like wonder when I'll get back into it. I will. That's why I got this. But you know, oh yeah, this is. So so interesting. Pulling the plastic off a thing. What's this? This is like the, the power pack. What a monster that like. Ooh, what's this? It's a plug. That's because Valid has that military money, lol. You a military man? Crazy stuff. Alright then. Now there's a little there's a little tag right here. Oh. Which I, th I think that was supposed to like help me pull the plastic off and it's just broken off. That's a good start. Find a different way in. Whoa. That is one shiny box. That. If I got the angle of this all wrong, could it be better? Hmm. where it should have been from the start, really. Ooh. Hey, 
And is that backwards? Oh no, it's upside down. That chair you have similar to mine, what company you got it from? I don't know, it's just like a wooden chair in a flat. <laughs> no, it came with the place. Himmel asks, where did you develop your cinematic talent slash experience? Talent, I don't know about. Um, experience, studied at Leeds Film School, uh, Leeds Metropolitan University, like 12 years ago or something now. But uh, I don't know how much it taught me. I think it's just mostly from just watching films by people I like and kind of getting a feel for it. You know. I know what I want it to look like. Source Filmmaker enables you to basically make it look however you want. Oh. 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 Right then, what's next? I'm like terrified to touch this thing. It feels weird. It's like a real, oh, it's like a slab of granite, that. I love it. Oh, let's get all this stuff off. Here's my little premium care pamphlet. My little thinger. Raid time. Still the best shot SFM animations. Well, I take the time to make it look like that. You know, that's that's kind of I hide the the poor animation behind uh, cinematography. That's very diligent. So yeah, that's kind of the whole point of that. You know, you never had a Lenovo, had you? Yeah, my last one was a Lenovo. It just wasn't particularly powerful. It was good for for what I needed at the time, but you know. What's going on here is Validator is sending a load of people my way. Is that what a raid is? I don't know what a raid is. Do you know what a raid is? No. I just thought it was like when you... Police like kick down your door. And all of that. Alright, I'm going to read some of these little specs here, so... Okay, um, these aren't even specs. Intel Core i7, 10th gen. GeForce RTX. Of some kind. It's a lovely 15 inch screen. Oh, I can't even get over it. What a mad, 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 mad thing. That look like, ah. Oh. Do you love a good slate gray like monster like that? Now the big moment. What, what, what's the big moment? Am I supposed to do something now? <laughs> yeah, well. Somebody said now the big moment and I feel like I'm supposed to like do something really important and I like haven't. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just sitting here with a little computer. That PC is going to make me redacted. It's definitely going to make me redacted later on as well, like... I think the screen's the same size as my last one, but it sort of looks smaller because it's got this less bulky frame. It's got like a... Oh, I feel really scared lifting this thing up. It's just a really nice, sleek kind of... It's got that. reminds me of like... makes me think of what you might see in like the oldest house in Control or something. Just that brutal, dark grey, semi-shiny shit going on. It's good fun, this, isn't it? For me. First time seeing a sit reading comments. First time seeing a Lenovo laptop. My very first computer I got was a Lenovo. Ah. Should 
should be getting about 250 view streams when compared to your sub count. This sucks. Yeah, well, the thing is, like, because I'm so inactive, you know, I show up, like, once every six months and do a really brief stream or put out a tiny little episode. It's like, people don't, like, trust in what I'm actually doing, you know? Who really cares? Hang on, I will be back momentarily. And we're back. With a little... There he is. Gordon Freeman for scale. Ooh. He he pee pee joke. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Zach has a good point. What's this? Waiting for your product is half the fun. Well, yeah, but it's... I don't know, it's its like... I can probably do it quicker. You know, it, it, it doesn't take... It shouldn't take three years to put out a four-minute episode, you know, which is kind of what it has been recently. But I just... It's all been a bit mad, you know. At the, the, the start of this year, we all got... You know, we all got locked down, and... Um, Oh, that is a really unflattering angle. You know, we all got locked down, and and even though I was still working, I had this burst of like, oh, I'm going to do something now, you know, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to actually, you know, like, do some more Half-Life. You know, I just really want to. And I did it, did that last episode, and I thought, oh, yeah, great, this is it. I'm, I'm sort of back on, back on a roll here. I'm going to keep doing this and keep doing this. And then suddenly that one, like, after being up for a couple of weeks, got demonetized, which was a little bit demoralizing. Um, and then since then, everyone's energy's just dwindled, hasn't it? No one's, you know, no one's been able to bring themselves to do anything in this last lockdown. So, I don't know. Hopefully we'll, you know, hopefully this, this will allow me to, like, do a bit more stuff. What I want to do is maybe stream a little bit more episode production and what have you, you know, like, as as you said, Valadeira, I'm way too transparent about my work. You may be too transparent, but I'm not transparent enough. I could do with maybe being like, hey, look, here I am for a couple of hours doing, you know, building the scene and doing a little bit of animation and let's all talk about it and things. So, you know, there's a balance that needs to be struck. Oh, a couple of questions. The big question here, does it have Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10? Windows 10, I didn't think you could get any of the others anymore. Windows 10, I'm not a massive fan of it, but, you know, it's... It is what it is. I prefer using a Mac for everything, really. Um, but obviously you can't put half this stuff, so, you know. How much free time do you have every day? If you spend an hour of your free time five days a week doing a tiny bit of animation, it counts as an upload. Would eventually please the algorithm, I think. Yeah, that's very true. Um... I sometimes wonder about like doing other stuff that's like not Half Life, just as little fillers in between, you know, stuff I can just put out quickly as as little fun kind of, you know, asides. But again, my gear's been so fucked. It's been so fucked. It's useless. I am working on something that's not Half Life. That that was just. To, you know, get my animation practice to bit and have a bit of fun with some nice black and white cinematography. So we'll see. You know, made a 50, 50 minute movie with two iPhones. 
It's going to be 8K in 3D. What? 8K in 3D. You know what, I find it really galling that iPhones have like that kind of resolution now so you can shoot stuff way higher than my like expensive DSLR which is still only at 1080p. Next thing I'll have to buy once I actually get back into filmmaking, filmmaking, you know, live action, be like a nice black magic, but I think that's a long way off. I have to use the rest of my savings for furniture for our next place. Isn't that right? Yes. <laughs> Um, now the thing is I've, I've opened all of this let's just mm. oh let's just admire it there but but I'm not quite sure what to do next did you play Alex of course I didn't play Alex I, I've got a 7 year old laptop that can that takes 40 minutes to load Source Filmmaker Half-Life Alex is like completely out of the question. However, this apparently would probably run it, but do you not need a Valve Index to play Alex? I'm pretty sure you do. Um, and Valve Index is, as far as I'm aware, of, like more than half the price of one of these, so I'm not going to do that. I'll get around to it one day. I don't know. I'm going to get an Oculus Rift at some point and play like stuff like Arctica and squadrons and what have you but Alex isn't actually high on my list of priorities and from what I've heard it like it retcons things and I'm really not a big fan of retconning so I don't know I'll get around to it when I get around to it will we see new videos soon if it's not relative to SFM animations I'm curious uh, well no the thing I was saying I was working on was an SFM thing just been working at it very slowly with this broken ass thing um, I haven't had the chance to do any live action because we can't interact with other people at the moment because we're locked down you know made that nice little short in the summer that little horror thing and we were really hoping to do more of that but couldn't which is a shame you know but there might be more SFM stuff might be more of whatever I don't know I'll try and do some more of my stuff we'll see HLA takes any Steam VR compatible VR headset. Okay. That's cool. I'm probably going to get a Rift rather than a Quest because I want to. You know, I've heard that they're like a bit better. Oh no, Vaults have thumbs. That's the exact kind of retcon that I'll, I don't want to see. I feel like I should do something fun for them now, but I don't know what to do. Why don't you turn it on? Will it have battery? I don't know. Maybe let's just plug it in. Plug it in? That's what plugs are for. Right then. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna plug it in and turn it on. Oh, hang on. Oh. Oh man, my knees. Oh. Is this what happens when you're 31? Actually, I've had bad knees since I was about 22. Right, hang on, I'm just hobbling over to a plug socket. Okay. Oh, 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 
Ow. This is literally... Oh, this is how it feels getting up off the floor. This is terrible. Right, now I need to find out where the socket is. I literally don't know which one of these is the mains. Jumping jacks. Oh, even that, it just knacks my knees, man. I actually don't know which of these is the mains. This is... Hey, you know what? I could just look at the manual. Remember then, manuals. Has it got? Here we go. Setup guide. Fifteen power connector. What? I look like an idiot here. I genuinely don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, sockets on the back, like all the USB stuff on the back. I'm not sure what I think about that. It's a bit weird, isn't it? of this way up thing or not right there we go I've managed to plug it in because I'm damn good at this I am the king of remembering my own password ooh oh yes and this little plastic thing here angle on this. Uh, what are you streaming with? Um, Streamlabs OBS. Took me an hour and a half to get it working. So uh, I hope you appreciate it. Now, I'm going to assume that this is the on button. I don't know if it worked or not. Um, did it work? Um, yeah, I've um, I've pressed the button, but it's not doing anything. Oh no! What if? What if it's uh, broken? Like a fault or something? Oh, this isn't plugged in. Hold on a sec. It's acting a bit weirdly. Didn't 
doesn't feel like it went in. Oh, there we go. I think that needed a bit. This needed a little bit of force in. Hey, hey, hey! Oh. Ah! Fuck! Oh, I need this for my one second every day. Oh, it stopped! Do it again, do it again, do it again. Uh, <laughs> I keep stopping! Look at that. That is just... Oh. You know what? I get it now. All this PC gaming stuff that I've never quite understood. I get it. So you can't do this. I get to have a rainbow keyboard. Oh, the screen is doing stuff. It's just... It's taken time. First load up, mate. Hi there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Yeah, I want you to shut up. Whoa, oh, there we go. There's me one second a day. Done sexy. Windows 10. Windows 10 with a little... Mm, face. What's... what's What's wrong with Windows 10? I don't I don't really get it. Like is it is it just not very good? There we go, one second every day. Oh yeah, Cortana's gonna be gonna be getting gone. Right, now you can all watch me set this up. No, I'm in the UK. Is this the right keyboard layout? I don't know. What is the... I suppose it is. Um, it's very good. It's just the updates are not given a unique stability for 10. Yeah, I mean, like, Windows 10 is annoying for sort of... Constantly updating. Oh, I've got to find my Wi Fi password now. What the hell is it? Um, D. Um, I need to find the thing with the Wi Fi password on it. Seven L. Oh, 
validator. Thanks for dropping by, man, and being being such a good dude. Keep up that good work. Everyone go to his channel because he's doing the good stuff. Seriously, it's it's really inspiring to see. Nice work. Still thinking of shelling out the cash for an M1 MacBook, Zachary. Do it. If you want something for productivity, Adobe software, After Effects, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, all of that stuff, use a Mac. That's what I use for all my video editing. All of that has never failed me. Um, I would be a Mac user if it could run any of this stuff, you know, but might as well do both. Now we're just going to have to sit and be really bored. Oh, license agreement. Yeah, whatever. Are you double jointed? Yeah, I am. Look at that. It's disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it bends really badly. Like If I try to do like press-ups and that, it's awful. Michael's World. I've seen his work. Me and Val be lads. Ah, one of his lads. Nice. Right, Anna. Right, I'm adding confidential information here so you can all stop looking at me. Oh, what is going on? Lights blasting out the back of this shit. Woo! Oh, bollocks, I've done the wrong keyboard layout. Oh, you do this, mate. It's scary. What, my arms? I, I just got weird arms, mate. Create pin. Okay. Um. Nope, none of that speech recognition shit. Yeah, okay, well, the, might as well let tell me what the weather is. Find my device when it inevitably gets nicked by Raji's. Right, can you keyboard? That's what I want. Send diagnostic data. Oh, fine, man. This bit's really boring. Actually planning on shooting a drama short. Ooh, anamorphic lens for fun. That sounds nice. Wouldn't mind an anamorphic lens like what's this? Improve inking and typing. Oh, I don't know what any of that means. Get tailored experiences with diagnostic time. Accept, 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 accept. Let apps use advertising ID. Oh well, I might as well get advertised decent games and stuff. Yeah, Lenovo served me well for a while now. You know, for, for years, the thing's just finally kind of broken down. I'm going to keep using the old one for stuff like just texture editing and like GIMP and things so that I don't like clog this one up with like loads of useless bullshit. I'm trying to keep this to a minimum. Like it'll be whatever games I'm playing at the time plus Source Filmmaker, but only the assets that I use at that very time. Everything's going to be backed up on hard drives. I'm going to actually behave myself properly. Customize your device. Gaming, creativity, I'll do. Oh yeah, look at them reflections. Company called Moment. I don't have an iPhone for any of that stuff. I've got this horrible. This, this here, this is a Huawei Nexus 6P, and it's the worst phone I've ever, ever experienced. It's Horrendous, absolutely horrendous, and uh, and it's named after the the androids from Blade Runner. Why would you do that? This is weird. Watch YouTuber called Pony Smasher. Oh, I don't know. It rings a bell, but I don't know for definite. Maybe. 
Get instant access to your Android phones, photos, text notifications, and whatnot. Come on, man. Um, I'll watch this attempt to link up. Check your phone. Oh, one second a day is having a real struggle here. Oh, stupid bloody thing. Oh, you know what? Bollocks to you, I'll do that later. Just over long bullshit. Back up your files of OneDrive. Oh, whatever, man. Um, ah, oh, Microsoft Office, go away. David Sandberg, director of Lights Out Animal Pictures. All right, okay. Pony Smasher. I'll have to have a look then. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, no, not Cortana. Go away. Sam sending me messages from the other room. Um, protect your device. Yeah, please, Zachary, send me a link. That sounds pretty cool, man. I like a good uh, video from someone who's actually got something to teach you. I still love watching those every frame of painting shorts, even though they've been dead for seven years or something. Add this device to my... Oh, well, I don't understand what any of that means. Go away. iPhone SE is only $300. Oh, I do need a new phone, Mike. My be, Mike. Oh, it said hi. Getting everything ready. This might take several minutes. Boring. You can just watch me drink this gin and tonic while we wait. So... Oh, I need a wee. I've broken the seal. And we're back in the room. South African cinematographer called In Depth Cine. Oh, I'll keep him in mind as well. Oh, the new Microsoft Edge is here. Yeah, get started. Fuck off. Oh, it's going to make me, isn't it? There's only one thing that Microsoft Edge is good for, and that's for downloading Chrome with.
Can you do a South African accent? I could probably try, but it would be quite offensive. So, maybe not. There's this little feed down here. Microsoft recommends you keep using this browser. Oh, Microsoft recommends. Yeah, piss off. Firefox. I used to use Firefox, but I don't know. I just found Chrome was just. I just like Chrome. It's simple. Integrated. I used to use Opera many years ago. You remember Opera? It was great. Right, now, question time. What's the first game I should play on this now that I've got this, like, mega powerful PC? Or mega powerful laptop? Or whatever. Any ideas? Far Cry, which one? The first one. I was always partial to Far Cry 3. That was my favourite. This kind of went downhill after that. Which is annoying because, you know... Oh, Crisis was the, the whole, oh, does it run Crisis? That was like the whole joke. What makes me sad is that Far Cry 5 had really good gameplay, but just terrible story structure. It was pathetic. Oh, I forgot my bloody password. We're in. Confirm whether it's you trying to sign in. <sighs> it's me. Go away. Turn on sync. Yes, turn on that goddamn sync. Adblock is installed. Thank you. Yes, that was me. Yeah, whatever. Adblock. Cheers, mate. Oh, is that my desktop? That is ugly. I don't know what that is, don't care. Ah, oh, it's got such a nice screen. Would you believe the composer for Far Cry 5 was going to do No Time to Die but quit because of creative differences? No Time to Die? Well, you know. That film's never going to come out, is it? I think there was a new episode of Diminishing Returns just released, and I'm sure that Calvin Dyson will be screeching about the state of that. Welcome to your new device. Let's get set up. Yeah, go on then. Let's let's get this set up. Re review your warranty. Skip that for now. Uh, what are the YouTube app? What are WinZip. Oh, God's sake. Dropbox offer, no thanks. The Nova Migration Assistant, no thank you. Connect to you. Oh, connect to you. All done, check out Vantage. Okay, I'll just close it again. It is the same director as uh, True Detective Season 1, isn't it? And True Detective Season 1 was really fucking good. Had that one in it. That fucking lethal one -er. So good, man. Oh, just... Lenovo Vantage, whatever, mate. Oh, yeah, nice bit of... Ooh, yeah. That is a beauty. 
Good, thank you. That's all done. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to check out Vantage. It's all done, mate. Piss off. Oh, this is an app. I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. Yeah, I'm tempted to, like, say to Sam, the first film we go and see at the cinema, once it's back open, should be No Time to Die, just because by that point it'll have been delayed for, like, two years. You know, the guy who did La La Land. I mean, La La Land's a nice enough looking film, isn't it? But it's not, like, you know, it's not the best looking thing. Tommy Wiseau should have directed it. Why is all this mad things? Yes, wins it. Please make changes to my device. Oh, this is sexy. Resolution's not good though. I don't like it. Um, I have a color scale and layout. I don't want everything at one hundred twenty-five. Hundred. That's better. Ooh, ooh. I'll do very nicely. I think my favourite cinematographer is Gordon Willis. Did the Godfather movies. I haven't watched them in a long time. They've got a nice washed out sepia tone to them though, don't they? I don't know. I like Steve Yedlin. Works with Ryan Johnson a lot. He's got very kind of creative. You feel like it's very kind of run and gun. Um, there's a lot of puzzle solving goes on with his work, I think. And uh, Robert Yeomans. Was that his name? Guy who works for Wes Anderson, just makes some lovely little, lovely little compositions. Mm. Right. The next thing I'm going to have to do is, I'm going to have to love yous all and leave yous all. Everyone's pretty much left already, haven't they? And um, I'm going to download Steam. I'm going to download Black Mesa and play it all the way through because... I've never played Zen yet, because I haven't been able to, and apparently Zen is fucking chef's kiss. So, um, that, uh, that probably concludes this slightly boring stream where I just, uh, open up a load of shit. This LEDs are awful. XD. Well, yeah... It's the sort of thing which I'm going to turn off immediately, but I'm not going to lie. When I turned this on and they did that, ooh, that really made my day. Made Valley cry when he played Zen. I feel like it could make me cry. I think it's going to look really, really gorgeous. Really super gorgeous. And then, I don't know. don't know what I'll play after that. I guess I can get Game Pass on this, can't I? So, see what's on that. I don't know. I'd say Cyberpunk 2077, but CD Projekt Red can go fuck themselves, so. I won't. Hmm. I'd have to crunch a bit of ice. Life is strange. Shut up. You know what? I'm just gonna like sit here and like do a bit of this while people are still on. Steam. Install Steam. Ooh. Five million people playing stuff on Steam. Oh, I know, Zachary. Don't worry, I'm not going to leave immediately. Like, I was so impressed with The Witcher 3. Like, look, I'm not a big Witcher fanboy or anything. Like, I never played the first two because they're, you know, the PC exclusive kind of things. But, like, I don't know, like, 
Witcher 3 was the first one I got the chance to play. I never thought I'd like it. I just thought it was lovely. It was like... It, I put more time into that this year than any other game. And like... It really like genuinely moved me. I thought it was great. And then CD Projekt Red, they just fucked it all up with Cyberpunk. With this whole... Oh, we're not going to crunch. Oh, actually, we are going to crunch. <laughs> and then the game didn't even work. Flirting with transphobic imagery, acting like fucking edgelords online, man. It's bullshit. I'm just going to pirate. Can't wait for the next episode of the series. It's really well animated. Well, Michael's World, it's it's not that well animated. Like, it's okay. It's it's quite well composed and put together, but the animation is rough, to say the least. Did you hear about Io doing the next Bond game? Yes, I did. Um, I've not played the latest Hitman games, but they're meant to be really, really good, aren't they? And I'm, I'm quite up for the idea of Io doing Bond. It's funny because I always think to myself that I, I'm, I really don't like James Bond, but I've got so much nostalgia for it, having being a young lad who was really into it, that I can't quite bring myself to actually hate it. Um, oh, here we go. Steam Sport Q, QDQ7X. QDQ7X. Next. Now I have access to your Steam account. You guys are going to get really bored just watching me pissing around on this thing, like... There we go. Library. Install Black Mesa. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree to all of that shit. To you, Black Mesa, for download. Basically, grew up watching the Daniel Craig movies. He was cast as Bond when I was eight. No time to die. One can't talk to anyone. Oh man! You see, when I got into James Bond, Pierce Brosnan was still James Bond. You know, I was five when Pierce Brosnan was cast, and I'll still hold it up. Golden Eye might be the best Bond film because it is darn good. We need your help to finish adding a feature. Come on, then. Okay, what? Ah, piss off. I'm going to install any of this other stuff yet. No, I'm not. You know what? I'm not even going to install Source Filmmaker yet. I'm going to back everything up. Put it on a hard drive, unsubscribe from everything on the workshop so that I've got a clean SFM and then gradually introduce things so it doesn't just fill this fucking computer with garbage. I'm assuming you saw all the hoopla about the Golden Eye HD leak. Mm, I'm aware of it. Um, the company that I work for covered it. A little bit of thing, but I haven't gone and looked into it. Anything our company re reports on, I just avoid. <laughs> I'm sick of hearing about them. Pierce, Pierce Brosnan was dot 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 okay. Oh yeah, I mean he's not great, is he? But... It's like that thing, isn't it? You know, when you're a when you're a kid, it's like who's James Bond when you're a kid? Like that's the one you're gonna like. Like that's why Pierce Brosnan for me, like that feels like James Bond, even though like Daniel Craig does it so much better. And again, Skyfall as a film, for example, I'll always hold up Skyfall as the film that's actually really good, you know. But then Daniel Craig was also Inspector, 
and Quantum of Solace and their shit. You know? Everyone's done some good stuff. I had some somewhat bad entries of uh, James Bond, but some of it was good. Who Pierce Brosnan? Yeah, World Is Not Enough wasn't great, was it? It was okay. I don't know, I think Golden Eye, Tomorrow Never Dies, World Is Not Enough were like all alright. Dying of the Day was like total shite, obviously. But like, it's just like a common joke to just call it total shite, so. Whatever. What can you do? some stuff I was talking about asking some in the discussion hey um, does anyone here do any source stuff well of course you do um, who knows how to do like like workshop mods for Black Mesa like I want to replace the um, kind of crappy looking uh, Black Mesa um, you know the HECU dudes I want to replace them with something that just looks a bit more convincing but I don't know how to do it. Anyone know? No? Fair enough. Hmm. Where's the thing that I uh, posted? Oh, I must have uh, must have not posted the thing that I thought I posted. A bit weird. Can't switch language. Can't work. I'm pretty funny. Hey, so. All I do regarding source stuff is mapping and texturing. Yeah, I do the texturing quite a lot. I've been playing a little bit with mapping, doing like some samurai stuff, like building maps from scratch for that, which is quite fun. Based on like Kuroneko, if you've ever seen that, but I don't know. Um, right, that's it. There's not anything more that I can show you that's in any way interesting, I don't think. Oh, no, you're asking... Oh, right. Who's your favourite actor, by the way? I think it might be Michael Shannon. Because Michael Shannon is an absolutely fucking stupendous actor in everything he's in. He's He's got incredible range. And he's just a great guy. I like him a lot. And also, on that topic of Michael Shannon, if Half-Life was ever going to be made into a live-action film, which it will be by me, Michael Shannon should play G-Man. I take source stuff and build it in RL. Is it difficult to work with SFM? I don't. Um, I don't know what RL is. I'm afraid, Julian. What's RL? Michael Shan. He is great. He's um, he's just good in everything. Uh, go watch Take Shelter. That's uh, that's one of my favourite films ever. I think that might be one of his best performances. He's great. But if you like. Sam and I have been watching through Boardwalk Empire again after sort of the initial run that it was on, and um, from season three when he's uh, when Michael Shannon's playing like George Mueller, uh, you know when he's sort of got his little alter ego character and he's this kind of weird, mild mannered, incredibly awkward guy carrying a suitcase around. He just feels like G Man to me. Love it. I take source stuff and build it in oh RL real life. Build it in real life. What do you mean? Like you 3D print it? Zachary Arnold. Who would play Gordon? That's just impossible to answer that, isn't it? Who would play Gordon? Um, have you ever seen that Freeman Chronicles series that's on YouTube? I think they've stopped doing it now, but it was like... It was pretty good. Um, I'd say it was pretty good. It was really good. Uh, just get him to do it. You know, he, he does it well. Um, in terms of, like, actor, actors, I haven't got a clue who'd play Gordon. Maybe Martin Starr. He sort of looks a bit like Gordon Freeman, but I don't know. That'd be it. I'd get Andre Holland to play uh, Eli Vance, I think. 
I know he's not quite old enough, but if you were going to do like like Half Life era Half Life, which I'm more interested in than Half Life Two, you want a guy that's like not too old, and then you just age him up for when he's uh, for when he's like old Eli in Half Life Two, I think. So young Daniel Craig could have played a good Gordon if he died in ginger. Oh, yeah, he's meant to be ginger head, isn't he? Like auburn head. I was thinking of him as having dark brown hair, but not quite. <laughs> a young ginger Daniel Craig as Gordon. The thing is, is Gordon meant to be a massive nerd, or I get Morgan Freeman to play it, Eli. Ah, oh, you see, Morgan Freeman's too easy. It's too easy, like, and he's he's like too old. I feel like Eli Vance needs like a little bit more energy about him than Morgan Freeman has. Like Morgan Freeman is like the he's like the obvious kind of like wise old dude, isn't he? But I don't know. Andre Holland, if you've ever seen the Nick where he plays like a nineteenth century doctor, he's got like real sort of grace and charm. Uh but then also I'd say like Clark Peters. Maybe if you're going for like an older Eli, Clark Peters, who was in The Wire and um, The Five Bloods, I think. And he was in his Dark Materials recently. Like, he's he's really great. I just think that, like, I don't know. Morgan Freeman, a little bit too obvious. <laughs> who would play Kleiner? Oh, God. All right. Um, you see, I, I did a blog post about this a while ago about who would play all these different characters. Uh, I had Clark Peters down for um, Eli. I had Peter Capaldi down for G-Man, but actually I'm switching over to Michael Shannon now. Um, to play Kleiner, and this is really depressing, I initially thought Kevin Spacey would be a really good Isaac Kleiner, but it turns out that Kevin Spacey's a paedophile, so I don't think I want him to play Isaac Kleiner. So I'm stuck for Kleiner. Um, I don't know. Maybe you could nerd Brian Cranston up a bit. That might be quite entertaining for Kleiner. But I feel like Brian Cranston would be quite good as um what's his name? Breen. Maybe Zendaya to play Alex. That's quite good. Zendaya. I quite, I always quite like the idea of Elias Shawcat playing her. Elias Shawcat or maybe like um Oh, what's her name? From Broad City. Ilana Wexler. Ilana we Wexler? No, Ilana Glazer? I can't remember which one's the actor and which one's the character. But Ilana from Broad City, maybe. Or Elias Shawcat. I don't know. Who would play Laszlo? Which one's Laszlo again? Is he like the gag character who gets killed by ant lions? I don't know. There's a huge. There's a huge delay. What did I miss? You missed nothing, mate. You missed me just talking shit and installing Steam. <laughs> Judith Mossman, Gillian Anderson. <laughs> I wish this was in real time. Who else have we got? For um. Who would be Od oh, Odessa? Oh, Jesus. He's, either, he's the really stuffy English guy, isn't he? He's like a really stupid joke character. Um, all right, Laszlo. I'm going to have to think about Laszlo. Um, Odessa. Odessa Cubbage. Oh, I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. Like, I don't know. I'd get Alfred Molina to play um, Father Grigori, though. I think he'd be amazing. That's like unhinged thing going on. Hmm, yeah. Odessa. Who's got suggestions for Odessa? Oh, Barney. Sam Rockwell. Definitely Sam Rockwell for Barney. He's like got the best friend energy down like that. Either Sam Rockwell or Paul Rudd, but I'm leaning towards Sam Rockwell because he comes across like someone that I'd really want to be friends with. Or oh, what else could I install? I'm not going to install anything else. Because it'll just take up space. 
I don't want it to. Tim Curry would be Odessa. Uh, Tim Curry before the stroke, maybe. Does anyone want to see the stickers that I'm going to stick to this laptop and ruin it with? I've got a... I think dogs should vote. We've got rest in peace, Rochi, beloved sunsband. We've got Turbo Vicky. And we've got the final palm. Hello, metal husband. If he wasn't a weird old space here, you could see Army Hammer as Barney. Oh, I've never rated Army Hammer. He's got a stupid name as well, and he's a cannibal or something, I don't know. I mean, that's probably all bullshit, isn't it? What about male 07? Even better question, who would play Dog? Doug Jones, he's always, like, wearing suits and shit, isn't he? Or like I don't know, just like all of, just have all of Jim Henson's creature shop, like puppeteering it. Got to be done properly. None of this fucking CGI bullshit. Oh no, something's falling off. Leave her, Johnny. Leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny. Leave her. Andy Circus, yeah, Andy Circus is a good idea. Just one of those guys whose faces you never actually see. Ah, oh, Black Mesa taking such a long time to download. Problem is, I'm still going to have to probably play it with a controller. Because otherwise I'm going to be using this tiny little mouse. Which is rubbish. I didn't actually think to order a mouse. It was really stupid of me. Oh well. Whatever, mate. Also, would you say HL2 feels smaller than 1? Oh, I don't know. Um, would you say HL2 feels smaller than 1 while playing? Ugh. You know, I can't remember. It's been a really long time since I've played Half-Life 2. Um, because, like, as much as it's a great game, Half-Life 2, I don't, like, I don't love it in the same way that I love, like, Half-Life 1 and Black Mesa. Like, Half-Life 1 was, was one of the first, like, shooters I ever played. So it was really, really important to me. And, like, Black Mesa, I just love that as being this incredible from-the-ground-up remake of 1. Um, but 2 feels... Does it feel smaller? I don't know. It's less enclosed, so it doesn't feel as claustrophobic, maybe. Mostly like building stuff with metal. Wow, nice. You build me a suit of armour. Woody Harrelson as Barney. Oh, I don't know. Woody Harrelson could go in there somewhere, like. I don't know about Barney, but... Who would play Breen? I think maybe Brian Cranston as Breen. Because Brian Cranston's really good at playing real fucking arseholes. For Mail 7, we pick up random guy from the street, yeah. Sure. Get all those random guys as extras. 90s Sean Connery as Breen. Yeah, but Sean Connery's a corpse now. Wasn't Breen modelled on Connery, possibly. Big Boss in the very first Metal Gear was uh, modelled on Sean Connery, I think, wasn't he? Oh, this is taking ages to download. What a shame. Right, it's 10 p.m. here, everyone. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm actually gonna get going this time because uh, I think my charisma has just kind of run dry. I just want to have a, like a little, little piss around on this laptop now and sort of look at backing up my old one. And um, 
maybe we have a little little go on Black Mesa once it's done, and think about what else I'm gonna get. I'm gonna tell my uh, tell me friends what I'm uh, what I've got. It's very exciting, but yeah, um, I'm gonna head off. Thanks for thanks for sticking with it for all this time, considering I'm not not much of a hilarious guy or anything. Look at all these whoa, lights. Still going forward with the Metal Gear movie too. And the Uncharted movie is still slated to drop. Yes, Metal Gear. Oscar Isaac. Solid Snake. Yes, mate. Very good. Uh, I am living in the UK, yes. Um, so it's getting a little bit late. Um, I'm going to spend a couple of hours having a, a little piss around with this. Then I've got to go to bed because I need to get up for work tomorrow and get back on the content train. So, thanks everyone. I'll speak to you all soon. Go subscribe to uh, Validator maybe later if you haven't because, you know, he's actually doing some content and all that. Check back soon. Maybe I'll do something. I might stream a bit of Source Filmmaker making or maybe just stream some games or something. Who knows? Catches later. Bye.